Imagine driving an electric car that never needs a gas station, comes at a price almost anyone can afford, and was invented not in Silicon Valley, but in Africa. Today, the automotive world is buzzing as Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, has officially unveiled his $14,000 electric car, and it could change the way we think about transportation forever. Maxwell Chikumbutso is no stranger to bold innovation. Known for creating disruptive technologies, from self-powered generators to drones and even helicopters, he's been labeled a visionary ahead of his time. But now his focus is turned to the automobile industry, and his creation might just be the biggest game changer yet. At just $14,000, this electric vehicle instantly stands out. That's less than half the price of most EVs currently on the market. But affordability isn't its only selling point. Chikumbutso claims the vehicle can generate its own power, reducing or even eliminating the need for constant charging. If this holds true, it could mean goodbye to range anxiety, the biggest fear EV drivers face today. Think about it. Tesla, Toyota, and other EV giants have been pouring billions into battery tech, charging infrastructure, and software. Yet, a single inventor from Zimbabwe may have created a car that disrupts their entire model. It's not just about affordability, it's about independence from the grid, freedom of mobility, and the democratization of clean transportation. This announcement isn't just making waves in Africa. Industry analysts worldwide are watching closely. Could this be the beginning of a new era where innovation is no longer dominated by Western automakers but shared across the globe? What will it mean for countries struggling with energy costs or for people who have never had access to affordable vehicles before? Of course, big promises come with big skepticism. Experts are asking, how scalable is the technology? Will it pass international safety standards? And can it truly deliver on the claim of self-power? These are questions the market will demand answers to before Chikumbutso's EV can go mainstream. Whether it becomes the next global revolution or a niche innovation, one thing is certain. Maxwell Chikumbutso has reignited the conversation about what's possible in the automotive world. A $14,000 electric car that powers itself sounds like science fiction, but today, it's official. The future of driving might not come from Silicon Valley, Tokyo, or Berlin. It could just come from Harare. Maxwell Chikumbutso's electric car isn't just a vehicle, it's a statement. A statement that Africa can not only participate in the global EV race but lead it. For decades, the narrative has been that groundbreaking automotive technology comes from the West, from the giants with endless funding. Yet now, one man's vision is challenging that entire paradigm. Think about Africa, a continent rich in lithium, cobalt, and other rare earth materials essential for EV batteries. For years, these resources have been exported to power other nations' industries. But what if Africa began using them to fuel its own innovation? Chikumbutso's car could be the spark that ignites a wave of homegrown technologies, turning Africa from a supplier into a global player in clean energy. You can almost hear the boardrooms at Tesla, Toyota, Volkswagen, and BYD buzzing with urgent discussions. If an inventor can create a $14,000 EV in Zimbabwe, what does that say about their multi-billion dollar R&D pipelines? Could their models soon look outdated, overpriced, or even obsolete? On social media, reactions are explosive. Some hail Chikumbutso as the Elon Musk of Africa, a pioneer bringing hope to millions. Others remain skeptical, demanding hard proof, crash tests, and real-world demonstrations. The debate is fierce, but one thing is undeniable. People are paying attention. Behind the scenes, sources suggest that governments and private investors are already in talks to back large-scale production. Imagine a world where countries like South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya begin rolling out fleets of affordable EVs powered by local innovation. It's not just an automotive story. It's geopolitical, economic, and cultural all at once. This isn't just about a car. It's about energy independence. It's about breaking free from oil dependency. It's about proving that innovation doesn't care about borders, budgets, or corporate monopolies. Maxwell's EV could be the blueprint for a new era of accessible, sustainable mobility for everyone, not just the wealthy few. 
But the deeper you look into Maxwell Chikumbutso's $14,000 EV, the more layers appear. It's not just about affordability, not just about sustainability. It's about rewriting the entire playbook of how cars are made, sold, and powered. Insiders claim the car uses a unique self-charging system, a hybrid of electromagnetic energy conversion and advanced battery storage. Unlike traditional EVs, which rely on vast charging networks, Maxwell's design hints at something more self-reliant, a vehicle that can continuously replenish its energy reserves while on the road. Imagine driving across an entire country without ever stopping at a charging station. Energy analysts are already warning. If this technology scales, oil demand could plummet even faster than predicted. Countries whose economies depend on oil exports may face crises, while nations adopting this technology early could leap ahead in global competitiveness. For the first time, Africa could become not just a resource exporter, but a trendsetter in mobility. In Zimbabwe and across Africa, excitement is rising. A $14,000 car is not just for elites, it's within reach of the middle class. Small businesses, farmers, and even urban commuters could transform their lives with affordable transport that costs almost nothing to operate. It's a glimpse of what development could look like when technology is designed for accessibility, not just profit. Interestingly, while news outlets are buzzing, major automakers have remained unusually quiet. No statements, no press releases, no open criticisms. It's as if they're watching from the shadows, unsure whether to dismiss Chikumbutso's EV as a fringe experiment or quietly preparing to counter it with their own innovations. Because make no mistake, if Maxwell's EV delivers even half of what's promised, the race is on. Nations will compete to license, replicate, or surpass the technology. Investors will scramble to get in early. And in the process, the balance of power in the auto industry could shift dramatically away from the old guard to a new generation of innovators. But with every innovation, there comes resistance. And in the case of Maxwell Chikumbutso's $14,000 EV, the resistance may not just come from skeptical engineers, it may come from powerful industries with billions to lose. Inside the headquarters of legacy automakers, there's an unspoken dilemma. Acknowledge Chikumbutso's breakthrough and risk validating a potential competitor, or ignore it and risk being blindsided if it proves real. Either path is dangerous. Investors are watching, and silence only fuels speculation. Meanwhile, Whisper suggests that several African governments are exploring policy frameworks to support large-scale adoption of Chikumbutso's EV. Imagine special tax breaks, manufacturing hubs, and dedicated EV corridors across the continent. This isn't just about one inventor anymore. It's about Africa positioning itself at the center of the clean mobility revolution. Of course, the world still demands proof. Can the car truly achieve what Chikumbutso claims? Can it handle rugged terrains, harsh weather, and long-distance travel without recharging? Journalists, engineers, and researchers are lining up for test drives, and the results could either catapult this invention into global headlines or bury it under a cloud of doubt. But beyond the corporate boardrooms and laboratories, ordinary people are already embracing the dream. To many, this $14,000 EV isn't just a car, it's freedom. Freedom from fuel prices, from unreliable power grids, from being left behind in the global EV wave. For the first time, the future of driving feels truly accessible. And so, we stand at a tipping point. If Chikumbutso's vision scales, the entire foundation of the automotive and energy industries could shift. But if powerful interests push back, through regulation, market barriers, or even discredit campaigns, the dream could face its toughest battle yet. But behind the excitement, shadows are gathering. History has shown us that disruptive technologies rarely rise without friction, and Maxwell Chikumbutso's $14,000 EV is no exception. In boardrooms of oil giants, alarm bells are ringing. A self-powering, affordable EV could slash fuel demand in ways no government climate policy ever has. And when billions of dollars in revenue are at stake, lobbying power is deployed like a weapon. 
There are already quiet rumors of efforts to pressure regulators to stall approvals to question the safety of Maxwell's design before it even hits the global market. Some outlets are painting Chikambutso as a visionary. Others are framing him as a dreamer, making impossible claims. It's the oldest play in the book. So doubt, control the narrative, and slow the momentum. But the more pushback there is, the more curious the public becomes. People want to see this car for themselves. Strangely, reports suggest early prototypes are already drawing offers from private buyers, collectors, and even government agencies, some willing to pay double or triple the price to get their hands on one. If true, this hints at something bigger, a quiet scramble behind the scenes to secure Maxwell's invention before it goes mainstream. Meanwhile, Africa faces a choice it's never had before. Will it allow global powers to swoop in, acquire the patents, and repackage the technology under foreign brands? Or will it stand firm, build infrastructure, and let Chikambutso's EV become a symbol of continental pride and economic independence? And through it all, Maxwell himself remains calm, almost reserved. Unlike the flamboyant tech billionaires of the West, he's not tweeting bold claims or hosting flashy launch events. He's letting the car speak for itself. That silence only fuels speculation. Does he know something the world is not ready to hear? As the dust settles around the debate, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. Maxwell Chikambutso has already changed the conversation. Whether skeptics dismiss his claims or powerful industries try to suppress his invention, the idea is now out in the world, and it cannot be unseen. A $14,000 electric car that could power itself has forced us to imagine a future where driving is not bound by gas stations, charging stations, or energy monopolies. It's forced automakers to look over their shoulders, oil giants to rethink their strategies, and everyday people to dream bigger than ever before. For Africa, this could mark the dawn of a new identity, not just as a supplier of raw materials, but as a creator of world-shaping innovation. And for the rest of the world, it's a reminder that genius doesn't belong to any one continent, company, or billionaire. It can come from anywhere, even from a small workshop in Zimbabwe. So whether Maxwell's $14,000 EV becomes the next global phenomenon or remains a spark that inspires others, one thing is certain. The future of driving has already been rewritten. The question now is, who will be brave enough to embrace it? Outro music builds, Visuals fade to black with channel branding. Ziototech, where innovation meets the road. The future of mobility starts here, only on Ziototech. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories about Elon Musk, Maxwell, Tesla, and the future of innovation. Until next time, keep imagining the impossible.